Well, we've mentioned uh, several names uh, of the men that are te- mostly men that are teaching these these doctrines, these false mm-hmm. doctrines. Um, another one that I want to mention is Paul McGuire. Paul McGuire has written uh, quite a few articles for News with Views, and he was recently been invited to a couple of the last conferences uh, dealing with these Nephilim teachings. Uh, and I was greatly disturbed when I read his writings because, again, he's writing for a very conservative e- evangelical uh, publication. Mm-hmm. Uh, but a lot of his teachings are really uh, New Age. Yes, he very much incorporates New Age into the fourth dimension teaching, uh, something that uh, Paul Young Cho wrote a book in the 70s. Right. That was a heretical book dealing with this fourth dimension and how we can uh, somehow learn to access power and information, learning these keys to sort of tap into this power and, 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 and be Supernatural. Empowered. Exactly. Yes. And the fact that they're all, all of these ideas, um, each individual has their own ideas that they add on to the main tenets. And so then it kind of grows and morphs and gets more and more um, grotesque mm-hmm. as far as eschatology goes. Uh, another man that is very prominent in this these circles would be Doug Woodward. And uh, Doug Woodward, I've actually had contact with him. He was a very polite man to, uh, you know, in the email con- uh, communication that we have. But he's one of these that has now, you know, he wrote a book called Decoding Doomsday. Mm-hmm. And in that book, he pretty much, uh, most of the book had very favorable uh, opinions about Tom Horn and his ideas. So he would write Tom Horn's beliefs and then he would embellish them, underscore them, and promote them in that mm-hmm. way. Uh, he's since written a few more books. One is called Power, Power Quest. Books one and two, and the second one I read had to do with the ascendancy of the Antichrist in America. So that's another trend that we're seeing is that a lot of those end time uh, teachings that come out of the book of Revelation, not only have they altered those, but now the seat of Antichrist's power, they believe, will be the United States of America. And so all of their deciphering and, and extra biblical sources are all pointing them to the fact that somehow this is where Ground Zero is going to be here in the United States. And so Doug Woodward would fit into that that camp. We also have Rob Skiba. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rob Skiba is uh, an actor. He is a videographer. He's a filmmaker. One of his uh, series is called Seed the Series. Mm. Uh, his, His most recent book is called The Archon Invasion. And, of course, this is all dealing with false Nephilim eschatology. Not to mention a twisting of the word archon. <laughs> exactly. And he is also very much into uh, bringing the things that we've discussed onto the screen, a very visual type presentation. And you can just let your mind go wild with some of these horrible uh, graphic doctrines, how they would appear on a screen. Well, some of the doctrines we should state right at the outset, too, is that uh, they're not only graphic, but a lot of the imagery that these men are using is pornographic. Yes. It's very, very vulgar and disgusting, and it should not be shown on film. It shouldn't even be read. And Christians should not even be talking or discussing about these things. That ties into why not, because that's the seedbed of idolatry. What I put in my mind, especially when it, it, it pertains to prayer, uh, scripture, I, I'm feeding off of something very ugly and dark and it's coloring my perception of everything, and it's something that we shouldn't even... Because once those images are there, Mm -hmm. it's nearly impossible to erase them once they're embedded into your thoughts. That's true. Very seductive and powerful imagery, yes. And Rob Skiba is also... He's written um, The Babylon Rising. He's got a whole series. I believe they started out as blog articles, and then they kind of grew and grew, and then he decided to break them down and write separate books out of them. Every single one of the books goes headlong into uh, the occult. Uh, Rudolf Steiner, he quotes oh very, my. <laughs> very extensively. Uh, the Egyptian Book of the Dead. That should be a, you know, a no-brainer. That, I was told that the Egyptian Book of the Dead was one of the worst occult sources, and that's when I was in the New Age movement, I was yeah. told not to read that book. That and the Tibetan Book of the Dead. 
So you combine all of these extra biblical sources, the occult, and you marry that to bits and pieces of the scripture and you come up with something really horrifying. Yes. Something very uh, untrue. So Rob Skiba is is an Mm -hmm. up-and-comer. He also now has, I think he's going more into the Hebrew Roots uh, movement, so he has his own virtual church and he's going into different avenues with that and I don't Mm -hmm. know what his reach is going to ultimately be, but it's something to to watch. Uh, We have Derek and Sharon Gilbert who, uh, Peering into the Darkness, PID, it's a View from the Bunker radio. It's a radio show. I even did an interview once with Derek on Dominionism, and he actually was opposed to Dominionism. But I was sad to find out that he was involved in all of this. Well, and his his blog site has become a vehicle for all of these men to, to peddle their heresies on his program, and he is also the MC for many of these like future Congress um, conferences, the the Branson Summit and all that. He's the moderator and he will be the person asking the questions kind of that way. So very much his uh, wife has written uh, prolifically on on these themes Mm -hmm. um, and has even taken up where where Tom Horn has left off and has embellished and added new twists and new new, uh, outrageous teachings. 